really wish we talked more about how much men withhold schmegs. Not us, them. Just like I've been saying, everything men say is projection. They've been telling us for the longest time that we're the ones that with, withhold schmegs. We fake headaches, we do all this stuff. You know what, I'm not saying that we don't, but I don't like the language they use around. They say withhold, as if we are purposely trying to torture them. It's not that women are withholding in these marriages, it's that they are being coerced. It's that they don't feel like doing it with someone who sucks and is exploiting them and treating them like crap and not doing their fair share of the labor at home. So men are not actually working f to get laid. Like women aren't withholding. They're just not being seduced. They're not being courted. They're not being treasured, not feeling safe. So Saying that we withhold is putting all the blame on us as if it is a malicious act that we're doing just to torture men, just to torture them, because that's what we do, right? When they are the ones who withhold. And by that, and thank you for this comment, I wish we talked more about this and I really think we should because this is one of the tactics that my ex used. He lured me in with eating my, can you read that? I love this hat. He was so good at eating. Get a cat. That's literally how I fell for him. If you want to read more about that story, I just wrote about it for the Daily Beast. This is one of the proudest things I've ever written. One of the most important things I've ever written. And it was super fun to write about. You know, I came into my power, my schmegual power. Before I went on that journey of centering my O, it started with him because he's the first person who ever gave me that O, like a real O, like blood feels like warm glitter, out of body experience kind of O. And I was like, dang, that's what got me. I'm telling y'all, Hobo schedules and abusers are always really good at eating. So he lured me in with that. And then as soon as he got me, that's the first thing he took away. The first thing he took away was that. And then, and then after that, flipped everything on its head, accused me of being like a schmegs addict. He literally used every story that I ever told him. He also, oh my God, the sirens are killing me. A cab. He literally used every podcast I've ever done, every story I've ever written, every story I've ever told on stage. He used all of that information and threw it in my face being like, well, I know how you are. I know how you use men. Now you're just using me. And I was like, wait, what? He literally reeled me in with schmegs only to cut it off and make me feel crazy. So I was convinced for a long time that I was a schmegs addict because of this man. Cut off affection too, cut it all off. That I'm like, begging for it and feeling ugly and feeling not desired. And also, like I said in a video yesterday, is at the same time purposely feeding me cookies and ice cream and pizza with extra cheese and all this food to literally fatten me up so no man would want me, okay? So this was all very intentional. He did all this to withhold. That is what withholding is. I'm not saying that women don't do this too. What I'm saying is that in, in, in patriarchy, literally everything that men as a collective accuse us of is what they are doing. We are not withholding. If we're not forking you and we're married to you or dating you and you're a man, it's because you have done nothing to deserve it. You don't, you're, we don't feel cherished. Now, okay, not always. Sometimes we do have headaches, sometimes whatever. But in my experience, my um, desire to have schmegs has always been way higher than any man I've ever been with. Jericho has convinced us if we do want it, that there's something wrong with us. And then if we don't want it, there's something wrong with us. So I promise you, if, if, if you're not forking your partner, it's not because you're withholding it. Maybe you feel insecure. Maybe there's other, other stuff going on. But, a, but what's happening in a lot of these marriages, especially with these married single moms, the husbands are doing nothing to make those women feel loved and cherished or even seen and still expect to get laid and then accuse them of withholding. When in reality, they're not withholding. These men just have done jack to earn access to our bodies. It is a privilege, not a right, to touch us, to go inside of us. If you weren't doing anything to turn us on, to help us feel loved, to make us want to fork you, that is not withholding. It is you quiet quitting your marriage, but still feeling, feeling entitled to a free schmegs worker. Withholding the way that men are using it is just what they're doing, and it's usually abusers. I swear y'all, literally everything that they tell us we're doing is what they're doing. Okay, everything, everything. If you just flip, flip it, uno reverso, upside down, you will start to understand how <laughs> mind fucked we've been. <laughs> they're, they're brilliant, y'all. They're brilliant. Dumb as rocks half the time, but brilliant.